right? So the first team, unfortunately, can't, uh, couldn't be here because of visa issues, so I'm going to read their spotlight. So hi, everyone. Our team is from HKUST, Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. Um, this year, we joined the object detection task only. The slide we show sketches our basic framework. We first generate some candidate bounding boxes, and then our system recognizes objects on these candidate proposals. We try to improve both localization and recognition. On the localization side, initial candidate proposals are generated from selective search. We produce a set of new bounding boxes using deep learning and regression. We found that it can do better localization. On the recognition side, to represent a candidate proposal, we adopt three features. RCNN features, IFV features, and DPM features. Given these features, category-specific combination functions are learned to improve object recognition. Background priors and object interaction priors are also learned and applied into our system. Currently, the pertinent technical details for the submission are in preparation. For more details, please visit our website. So this spotlight is for region-based convolutional neural networks, which I guess I don't really need to go through this because it's already been gone through a couple of times. Uh, this is joint work with uh, co-authors at UC Berkeley, Jeff Bong, uh, Sergio Guadarrama, Trevor Darrell, and Tendra Malik. Um, so I guess that uh, the only thing that I want to add to what's already been said about the basic framework here is just to emphasize that this is uh, sort of a, a framework for object detection rather than a particular instantiation of it. So, for example, the region proposal could be any number that generates region proposals. They could be either boxes or they could be specific masks for objects. Um, the architecture in our original work was based on the AlexNet, but for example, it's been extended now in many great ways to include new and better architectures such as the Google Net. Uh, and then the region classifier could be the SoftMax classifier directly from training or it could be an SVM. Uh, and then, in our entry into this competition, we mostly wanted to look at sort of a baseline system and kind of compare how the added training data affects that system uh, from last year's competition to this year's competition. So, looking on the validation two split of the data that we have, we did some controlled experiments first with AlexNet, that's AN, and then with the Zyla Fergus network architecture. And the main observation that we had is that going from the amount of training data that was available last year in detection to the amount of training data this year provided a small improvement of about 1.5% in AP, um, but it was actually, I guess, much less than I was expecting uh, that it would provide. Uh, so for further details, uh, you can go to our tech report on archive to find out more about the architecture and we have code available as well. Uh, thank you.
And uh, here I was box with the much state much state of music relax. And uh, the idea is simple. And if the uh, data have different uh, difficult levels for the computer. And uh, what we want to do is to let the computer say which part is difficult and which part is easy. And uh, use different branches to handle different uh, data. Set. Here we have only two more two more branches and uh, that two more branches with uh, original branches. We have three branches and uh, this uh, two more branches we have about two points improvement. And the change stage is simple. Just uh, these two other branches to be zero, change the first branch, and then fix the first branch, change the second branch, then fix the first and second branch, change the last branch, and then tie to the overall branch. And uh, this one makes uh, the whole network to focus on this one that is called the data. And uh, thank you. And uh, come to my first talk for more details.
only two in the category. So here's the summary. Uh, in the conclusion, we have the best single model uh, even compared to the Google Net. Uh, but however, we use the optimal ensemble method in submitting the results. Uh, after post competition test, we can, we can get to a 42 MVP of the little two. So we are still improving our results. So, and last uh, for the testament, June uh, and I will graduate in the next year. So, we are looking for postdocs and job positions. So, if you are interested in us, you can contact us directly. That's all. was invited to give a talk, but um, could make it for visa issues. So, I'm gonna leave that. <laughs> so we use complementary models for, so this is the um, TRIMPS, so Shen team can never quite pronounce it, but um, this is the third research institute of Ministry of Public Security of China. Um, so we use complementary models for classification. One is supervised uh, CNN pre-trained model. Start with three convolution layers. Do not decrease learning rate during pre-training. Another complementary model uses normal resolution and high resolution training images alternatively. In a localization task, we use randomized PRIMS algorithm to extract region proposals, then fine tune a classification model with these regions. For a test image, extract the regions, extract the regions and select top K probable regions that average their coordinates. We reduce localization error to 0.36, now using a simple pipeline. In detection tasks, we train our CNN model using selective search regions and RPE regions, respectively. Combine these two models using LMAX suppression and get 2% mean AP boost. Equipped with preceding technologies, we're doing some application research about smart surveillance. We can do 800 categories vehicle classification with error less than um, 2%. Other applications include pedestrian vehicle retrieval, object tracking, face verification, etc. Here are some results you can see. We have collected a lot of surveillance data and plan to release it. Feel free to contact us.